Hi guys, this is Jadam Sun. Today I'm gonna try to show you how to connect your uh, MIDI controllers to with uh, FL Studio. Okay, so this is the Yamaha. Uh, I don't have any more the uh, Akai uh, 49, but it's pretty much the same process. Okay, and I got here the Dan uh, HC1000 of Denon. So normally this is not made for FL Studio, but you can still use it. Okay. It's just to show how to map things, okay? So my Akai is connected, uh, my Yamaha is connected with a USB, same as, as my Denon connected with a USB cable to my computer, okay? So when you turn on Alpha Studio, so you go on Alpha Studio here, you turn it on, first thing to do, you go in your options and then you go to the MIDI settings, okay? In your MIDI settings, you're gonna see your inputs. Like inputs at the bottom here, you got the DNHC 1000 and then you got digital blah 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 that is mean Yamaha. Okay, so depending on which one you want to turn on, you go enable. Like if I want to uh, work with the Yamaha at this stage, when I press it, nothing is happened. You can see here the MIDI is not lining up, there is nothing in the MIDI. But as soon as I enable it, if I enable it now and then I press any button here. You can see the MIDI is coming on. Okay, so that's how you connect it. So if I turn it off and I turn on the DNSA 1000, when I move it now, you can see the MIDI is turning on. That's all. So you select which one you want. So if let's say I turn this one on and I go in view, uh, in channels, and I put on Citrus. Okay. I haven't done any, any, any MIDI mapping. FL Studio 10 is working perfect with any MIDI thing, okay? So let's go. You can see. Okay, so is working and I just have some options to do like changing the case and things like that for everything to match properly with it okay okay so so if I go back in the inside and I go um, I go back in the options I go to my MIDI settings again I turn it off and I put on the DNSA and I turn it on. You see? You see, even the denim that is made for DJing is already pre-mapped. But now the difference is you can select, like, uh, you can actually map it yourself now. The way you do that is, like, if I wanted this button, especially this one, to be mapped to that little thing here, now it's a different thing, okay? So that, then I go to this, pretty much, I think I remember, yeah, it was that. When I turn it on, okay, and I tweak the control uh, I want. So I press this, and I press this. Oh, I think if I, yeah, it was something like that. So I press that, and then I press this now. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that was it. Press the control you want, and then press the button you want. But it's not working, so it looks like it's pre-mapped. But that's pretty much the idea, because this one is, if you want to map something, pretty much that's what you have to do. Uh, you press this, and then it goes, tweak the control, multi-controller, tweak the control you want. You didn't tweak any control. So I press this, tweak the control you want to link. Okay? So I press this and then 
or it's not working with this, but should should be working because if you want a map, that's pretty much what you do. You press this one there, there. You tweak the controller you want. You tweak the thing on Cypress. Pretty much similar to Virtual DJ, and then everything works the same way. So that's pretty much all I can say. You have to enable first the controller in your op options in your settings. Enable the one you want to work with. Okay. In a, enable, uh, disable. You can enable both of them. That's uh, your own, you, you know, your own choice, you know. And yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. And you know, risk and from MIDI devices. Okay, enable the Yamaha. It's all over. Okay. Hope this helps some people. And that's it. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. And subscribe and share. Bye bye.